Peace, everybody. What's good? It's our boy, Coach Malachi Williams, and you will not return to True Media Today, USA Boxing. Let's go. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. All right, everybody, check this out. Um, a couple of people have been hitting me up asking me about my take on uh, what's the, what, what's so called? Oh, shout out to Steve Nelson, man. So called Steve Nelson said, uh, which he, he is a part of Team Crawford. He, you know, they spar all the time, and he's a, one of the Crawford's advisors as well. You know, Crawford got a really solid team. To be, to be honest with you, about you know, he, him saying that, hey man, you know, he offered the rematch. You know, Crawford, uh, Errol Spence at one forty seven. So everybody knew that, and Errol Spence let it be known. You know, whoever was the winner of this fight was. It's a two way rematch clause. If Crawford would have lost. Then uh, you know he would have had to activate the rematch to fight Spence within 30 business days or something of that sort, and then you know whatever you do, the winner get a chance to pick which weight they are going to fight at. So you know everybody knew that, right? So now the issue is, man, why 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 uh, Crawford want to fight Spence at 147? This and that. Well, he's the winner. So there, there's nothing there's nothing to talk about. If Errol Spence would have won. The same niggas who talking shit about Crawford saying he want to fight Spence at 147. Man, he said he called hell making that way and this and that. Like, this is the thing, right? Errol Spence hasn't said anything. Errol Spence hasn't said anything. There's a lot of shit that's being put out there that's coming from Errol Sexual YouTube channels. So the Errol Sexuals, they still can't let this shit go. It's been over a month. It's been a month and a half since this ass whooping, and these niggas can't let this shit go. So, yo, man, it was hard for Spence to make weight. That's not what Spence said. Spence said that he made weight pretty good this time around. Now, he did say that he's been at the West Weight Division too long, and he better to move up. It's not easy for him to make the weight. But as it relates to this particular fight, he didn't complain about the weight. So cut the bullshit out. And Cropper said that it was hard for him to make the weight as well. But the fact of the matter is this. The winner gets to choose which weight um, he wants to fight at. Everybody knew this. So what is the fucking problem? I remember hearing niggas say, yo, man, he don't want to fight him at 154 because he's scared. Scared of what? He destroyed this nigga in the last fight. It was a destruction. He got beat like, he got beat like, he got beat like um he got beat like a runaway slave. Literally. Deep fried. And I went to Omaha and had the catfish. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. So it, so so cut the bullshit out. Like you niggas are always moving the goalposts. Spence want to fight. Fight the man at 147. And as a matter of fact, if you're Spence, you probably would, would want to fight him at 147. Because you know what, man, I need to show, I need to show that um. You know, I just had a bad night. That night wasn't my night. This and that. This and that. Yada 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 yada. I don't give a fuck which what which uh what uh what weight that the fight is in. To be honest with you, myself, I don't give a damn. I want to see the rematch because for, you know because they said that it was the clone that uh Spence said you know uh Crawford ain't fight the real Spence. He fought a clone. So hopefully, what we need to do, we need the clone to go talk to the real Spence. And tell the real Spence, okay, look at baby boy. I hope you got all the data and the information from the fight that I that, that I had with Crawford on your behalf. You see, we saw what he, we see what he liked to do. I got a chance to see how hard he hit. And nigga whoop my ass, put hands and foots on me. Now you know what to do. Tell Mushmouth Derrick James to put together a good game plan to where this time when the real you go fight him in December, you get what I'm saying. We can go ahead and, and, and make it do what it do. That's what y'all. That, 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 that's it. So, you know, that's what the clone need to tell the real L Spence. That's what the clone need to tell him, right? So it is what it is. The shit really ain't a big goddamn deal. Fight the man again. Fight him again at 147. Fuck it. It is what it is. So um, it's really not a big deal to me. Again, I don't have an emotional investment in this shit like that. You know, I want to see the fight again myself to prove, you know, because some people say that, hey, man, Crawford, what Bud did, that, that, that was a fluke. That was a flu. Okay, if it was a flu, beat his ass again to show everybody it wasn't a flu. Not only did I beat you the first time, I beat you the second time to show you that the first time wasn't no goddamn flu. It's levels to this shit. You know, we know Smith's gonna come in the same flat footed, come forward style. That's what he's gonna do. Flat footed, you know, reach with the backhand. You know, if he's smart, he'll he'll study the film and realize, look, man, I can't be making these same goddamn mistakes. This nigga ain't Ugas. You know, this ain't this ain't Danny Garcia. 
You know, this ain't none of them niggas. Nah, this ain't them setup fights. Ain't them setup fights. This shit ain't gonna be tailor made for you. You know what I mean? You gonna have to learn some shit. You got to step that game up. So hopefully we get that fight again in December. It's really not a big deal. Um, you, you know, so th that's the fact of the matter. Um, and also R.I.P. to Mike Stafford, man. Um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Mike Stafford. R.I.P. to R.I.P. to him, man. Stafford. Um, you know, I heard that um they had his funeral, you know, um Saturday. So it's R.I.P. to that brother, man. You know, it is what it is. I know he done a lot for a lot of a lot of fighters. You know, in boxing with A.J. Broners. Um, you know, Robert Easter. So I do know that this is a, you know, this is a tough moment for his family. So I, I hear that Terrence Crawford and a lot of other fighters are in Cincinnati or are in Ohio um, right now where he, where he at right now with the funeral. So, you know, um, it is what it is, man. Um, you know, RIP to that brother, man, and, um, and his family. You know, uh, much prayers and blessings go out to his family. You know, um, I know it's very tough for them at this moment. You know, so uh, he was one of the good guys. He was one of the good guys, man. One of the good guys when, you know, he really is, man. You know, so um, I heard a lot about it. I got to get around. I got to get around this motherfucker. You driving too slow. Anyways, man, I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Um, hate, like, share, and subscribe. You know, once again, it's over to our butt coach, Malachi Williams, signing out. Two minutes today, USA Boxing. Oh, before I wrap it up, y'all remember this? Sign the contract. 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20. Take whatever we give you. Yeah, the rabbit got the gun now. Sign the contract. 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20. Take whatever we give you. We fight that 147. Like these niggas were saying we as though they was a part of the Aero Spence team in negotiations. But it is what it is now. So now, guess what? I get to throw that shit right back in your face. See you guys on the next one, man. Hate, like, share, and subscribe. You know my motto. Don't beat me there. Beat me there. Peace. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.